Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. I thought. Huh? I, I, I get it. I, I get it. Yeah. I, I get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, for real. I, I, I get it. But at the same time, like, you can be sneaky all No, these week. men will be fooled. They are th- I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell y'all because I got brothers. These women will manipulate you into thinking that they a good girl, that they ain't had sex with that many people, and they probably the freakiest motherfucker ever. They probably this, they probably that. But you will fall for it. Some guys will fall for it. If you're green, you will fall for it. Nah, I saw some motherfuckers that ain't green that will fall for it's it. It's possible. It's, it's 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 possible. But when it but when Man, you, a when woman you, is the sneakiest creature on earth. I'm telling you, if she wants you to fall for it. You will fall for it. Ah, uh, like a wolf in sheep clothing is nothing to a manipulative woman. I don't know. That could be right. It could be right. I have I. And a woman is a man's biggest downfall. I'm oh, most well, definitely. That I understand that. I understand that because you is she trying to make you do whatever? She she knocking you off your off your pivot sometimes due to whatever she want. I understand yeah. that. But things happen, man. Like you know, we in this in this age right now, man. We online and we seeing all these forums and commentary about men and women, men and women. I think that we just need each other. I think we need to work with each other. I don't think we need to be bashing and all this stuff like that. But my thing is this, I see men are having a voice now or how they feel about what they what went man? through. Men, just men in general. Just have, they have platforms about how they feel due oh, to their yeah. experiences with women. Now women on the other hand, they have been telling us how they felt for years, movies, shows, whatever. And now it's just causing this uproar. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But I want to take it to another part. Um, I think this had to be years ago when I got in your, on your campaign, two or three years ago. I, I don't know if you was experiencing something. Uh, I think somebody had broken one of your houses or something. You got online. Was that something had happened when you got out here? I did. My house broke into I, I had to be some years ago, though. It had to be a couple years ago. And I was like, man, like, like, man, she hard, but what she, I, like I said, I don't know if you put it out there or a blog put it out there, but that's the first time I had kind of got on your campaign of who you was, like that. Like, I'm assuming when you first got here, your, your transition coming from that city to this city wasn't that smooth or, or welcoming. It actually was, like, when I came, like, so when I first came down here, like, it was very welcoming because mm. a lot of people had already knew me on social media, but they never saw me in person. Like I never had no drama, no arguments, no ox, no nothing before I met uh, the the before I met Carter. Like I never oh, had no I don't problem. Know who he is, the uh, person I married. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, I never had no problems, no nothing before him. Like I didn't. Everybody loved me <laughs> before him. It's just like I don't know. Mm. And then you, you are, you are a lovable person. Or you got a yeah. welcoming spirit. Yeah. Cause I like I ain't never met you, I but I've been aura. seeing you for a while. So Terry, like man, we're in New Orleans. I'm, I'm down here with Nina Lorella. I'm like shit. I'm, where y'all at? So <laughs> what they call me, nigga? We down here. I said, man, I'm coming. Hey, how you I'm doing? Bourbon. You know, uh, I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. Like that, she cool as hell. But I mean, I'm, we from the same area code in the sense. So I, I figured it. You know, because I'm cool. It's just people. I'm a real sweet person. Like I, like real talk. I give a motherfucker the shirt on my back for real in real life. Mm-hmm. But it's like I'm very like I. I don't go for nothing, and I ain't scared of nothing. Like if you bleed, how I bleed. I mean, whatever happened to me next is God's will. So you know. Mm. And a lot of people can't. A lot of people. Uh, Yeah, a lot of people be, um, they get mad when you tell them shit that they ain't used to people telling them and whatnot like that. So a lot of people down here be offended by my attitude, I guess. Mm. I so, see. Yeah. You uh, keep doing your thing. But you know, you got you got love in Louisiana, like. Oh, yeah. Bro, like, and me and Woody talk about this all the time. Well, Woody talk about you a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's my guy. Nina Loretta. 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? She doing her thing, and it's like you got both 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 places now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some people come, hey, I'm trying to I'm trying to get in Louisiana. Oh, I'm trying to get in Dallas. Now yeah. you like it's like you connect. But you know, guys. I used to live in New Orleans. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, I went to McDonald 32 Elementary. We moved when um. Hurricane Katrina came because it tore the whole roof off of our house. We moved to Baton Rouge, and then from Baton Rouge we moved back home to uh, Winsboro, and then we moved to Monroe. Hmm. Yeah, I stayed in uh, New Orleans for a while. I'm still friends with all my uh, friends that I went to school with in New Orleans and everything. They still live down there. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so so are we gonna get more music from you and other Louisiana artists? Yeah. Um. I got a couple of uh, Louisiana features coming up. Official female rapper, um, J. Lewis, of course. Oh, my favorite one finna come up is Papiana. I fucks with her. Mm, I don't think I know her. Where's she from? She from New Orleans. Papiana, you heard about her? I gotta go check yeah, her out. She's crazy right, right now. <laughs> Man, say, when we met her, she had... Me and Mary met her, Terry met her at the same time. She had 60,000 followers. She's at 193,000 right now. That's going crazy. Probably, I mean, I ain't I'm right here. I gotta go. I gotta go. Trying to look for a show out here and everything, then she told me to take fire now. No. Yeah, nah. I was like, damn, like, it's some, like, kid promoter out here. I don't know. Dang. She going hard right now. I gotta go check her out. Y'all do the song? Hmm? No, nah, not yet. Oh, but it's official though. Like, you know. Like, nah, yeah. for sure. We were supposed to do it that weekend in New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you was out there running too. We ran that night. Nice. Ran for what? Right. Like, something had happened. On, on, you must have had love. I don't know. We too. Well, we went in the chicken spot. Yeah, something had happened on Bourbon Street. I, I don't even remember. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, man. But dog, though, you just an open book. I didn't think. Well, I, I thought you was gonna be open and transparent for sure, cause you always are. But like, you just like, hey, it is what it is. But um, how how are your kids feeling about what you got going on? Oh, they cool. Like my older son, he wanna rap, but right now he trying to um sell clothes and whatnot. And my youngest son that stay with me, he um he just like to do art and whatnot. And my daughter, she like to dance. It was not like that. And my mama, she big help with watching my kids. So it's like. Are they Dallas kids or are they from Louisiana and you moved them here? Yeah, they from Louisiana and they moved here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they not. I don't have no kids from here. My kids big. Like I got a 13 year old, a 12 year old, 11 year old, a 7 year old. Mm -hmm. Like, do they, they do they see you online? Like, mom, you see Oh, yeah. This? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they think I'm, they think I'm like they think I'm rich and famous, like for real. Like my oldest son, he popular. Every school he didn't been too popular. When he was in school in Louisiana, he was popular. And now he's in school in Texas, he's popular at school. Like I took him to this uh, jumping park and I uh, dropped him off. And the little girls was running to my car like, oh, you DJ mama, he was showing us your music. I like your music, da, da, da. you so pretty. I was like, yeah, he always popular at every school he goes to. Off me, of course. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, they like it. That's cool. That's cool that you got that relationship with your kids and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Because some some parents try to close their kids off from what they really got going on. You know. What well, I'm I don't. I don't really post them on the internet no more. Cause people, I don't know, they be having this fake narrative like, oh, you don't have custody of your kids. You don't have your kids, and I'd be like, who would say that? Man, bitches that don't like me, they come up with that fake ass narrative and I be like, well, I know there's some kids in my house running up my bills, eating up all my food, spending all my money. So, you know, if these ain't my kids, you know, come get them, yeah. <laughs> you know, get them out of my house. I thought that was mine, but, you know. Yeah, they be saying mm. I don't got my kids and shit like that. Okay. Speaking of bills, because it costs money to live in this city. It costs oh, money God. to be a rapper. You got to pay for your hair, your image, gas to get here and stuff like that. So I'm assuming that you're very serious about your money when it comes to this business. Um, that's what I want to say. When it comes to rap period, I'm going to say rap. A lot, of, a lot of female rap, females rappers are coming up. We seeing Suki, we seeing Sexy Red, we seeing Glow, we seeing you. We seeing all these people like, when it comes to this business, this music business, what do these females need to know? They need to register their, register their music here. They need to carry themselves like this. What do they need to do to secure this musical bag to keep this money going? 
I feel like, yeah, they got to make sure the business side is correct so they can um, drop their music the right way and get paid off of it. I feel like uh, image is very important. And at the end of the day, like I uh, said, the music scene is like 90% business, 10% talent. Mm -hmm. So you can be the best rapper ever, but if you don't have that whole package, you don't have the image, you don't have no hustle behind you, you don't have, you know, you procrastinating, you're not consistent. Like, There's a lot of things that could uh, stop you. And the most important thing is people wake up one morning and they feel like they want to be a rapper not knowing this shit take money when i say this shit take a bag like you're gonna have to have some type of money or either you're gonna be selling yourself to somebody who you know somebody gonna come in and say let me invest in you then mm -hmm. you know once you didn't got your money now you owe this person half of everything you got so it's like you gotta get your own bag and this shit and that's why most people um be kind of inconsistent. But, yeah, like we was talking, um, oh, man, it, it it do it takes some money, it takes some money to do this. Can you, can you give us like a little rough estimate of how much money you know you can put up for your own career? Um, no, I don't know, but I would say to to start a rap career and just just go off. I say you need to start about hundred fifty thousand or something. I don't know. A budget? That budget? That a total budget. budget? Yeah, a budget. At least, at least a hundred? One fifty? Yeah. I'd say for every, if you're going to be an independent artist, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Dang. I'd say if a label going to give you a sign to uh, do a distribution, I'd say. Yeah, I was looking at something, but yeah, you go. Oh, uh, mm. 150. I mean, let's be realistic. Everybody ain't got 150. I'm gonna say this, like. No, I'm saying like if you go get a distribution or something, and they gonna put a budget behind you. I say to take about 150. But I said if you're an independent artist just out here, like like we are, like I wouldn't say you need a big budget, but you're gonna have to you gonna have to have some type of money because you got to pay for your videos you got to pay for your studio time mm -hmm. you got to pay for your marketing you got to pay for your image like you got to pay people to be in your videos sometimes you got to pay for your to book um rooms and shit for your videos like everything costs yes. so like it's gonna cost so you gonna have nine times ten if you ain't out here doing nothing illegal you gonna have to have a job and if you have a job, you ain't gonna be able to put your full attention into music because you tired sometimes because you working for somebody else. Mm -hmm. So. It is what it is. That's what, that's what gotta be done. Yeah.